really cool. It could be the largest deposit of untapped oil ever discovered in these here United States of America. It was found recently in West Texas. It's called the Wolf Camp Shale. That extent, that's the, uh, the extent of it underground. The question is, how much does it hold? And the answer is around 20 billion barrels of oil. The value of that at today's low prices would be $900 billion. Look who's here. John Hofmeister, former Shell Oil president, the man who owes me several hundred dollars, I do declare. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay, hold on to your money for now. Now, that oil find is astonishingly large. I mean, is it, what, it's bigger than the Barkin Shale of, of the Dakotas? How, how big is this? Well, thing? put it in relative perspective. The Bakken could be bigger over time. It's huge. But don't forget, there's also the Alpine High formation, which was discovered by Apache south of the Wolf Camp not too many weeks ago. This country has an endowment of natural resources and it could have such energy independence for so long if we were allowed to produce what we want to produce and we could get out of OPEC's hair. Well, it sounds like Donald Trump wants that to happen. I mean, he's made deregulation of the energy of energy one of his main planks in his campaign. And it would be a wise move because OPEC's only going to get worse with time. But can he do it? <clears throat> because this oil, the new discovery in West Texas, that's way, way underground. It's very, very deep underground. And you've got to frack to get at it. Right. Now, fracking is not popular with the Greenies. Are they going to let him do it? Well, remember, this is West Texas. That's true. This is where people <laughs> grow up uh, looking forward to spending the life, their life in the oil fields. And there are different ways of fracking. And I, I believe in a regulatory regime which makes fracking safe not only for now but for the future. And there's ways of cleaning up the water. You can put water through filtration systems so you reuse it over and over again. There are very good environmental safeguards when it comes to fracking if, if you insist that the companies use those safeguards. So this discovery of vast amounts of oil on our own territory won't necessarily affect the price of oil in the short term, but what it, what it affects is our energy independence and our energy security. Absolutely, and our economic well-being. Don't forget, that's value yeah. created in this country for Americans, which we could also export, by the way, which is more value creation. So I think it's all news to the good. Could it be used to bring down the cost of electricity, which would bring in more manufacturing to America? I'm not, this is kind of a big <clears throat> picture thing, but I'm looking down the road here. There's well, possibilities here. Natural gas, of course, is the best thing that's hit the power industry in a very long time. And I'm also an advocate of using natural gas to make transportation fuel to get completely off imported oil. Completely off imported now, oil. Is there a great deal of natural gas along with the 20 billion barrels of oil? This is mostly oil, but there will be some natural gas. But there are other gas fields around. And of course, that's what we're getting out of Bakken, natural gas, as well as oil. And we're getting natural gas out of the Gulf of Mexico. It wasn't that long ago when we were talking peak oil. In other words, we'd reached the peak, it was going to right. decline, we didn't have much left, save right. it, etc., etc. How wrong can you be? John, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. You will be back before the end of December because you owe me big. I'll bring, <laughs> I'll bring a couple of bills with me just in case. Uh, big bills. Uh, uh, All right, John, thanks very big, much. Thank you. Good stuff. Now to a record-breaking discovery. 20 billion barrels of oil were discovered in West Texas. Geologists say this is the largest continuous oil deposit ever found in the United States. RT's Trinity Chavez has the story tonight. It's being called a monumental discovery. The U.S. Geological Survey found what they think is the largest deposit of oil found in America. 20 billion barrels of oil and 16 trillion cubic feet of natural gas were discovered in an area known as a Wolf Camp Formation in West Texas. The area where the oil was found lies in the Midland Basin portion of the larger Permian Basin region. That's nearly three times more oil than the agency found in North Dakota's Back and Shale in 2013. At current prices in West Texas, that oil can be worth almost 900 Hundred billion dollars. To put that into perspective, the United States consumed a total of 7.08 billion barrels of petroleum products in 2015. That's an average of 19.4 million barrels per day. The amount discovered in Texas is nearly three times the amount of petroleum products used by the entire country in a whole year. Although Permian Basin is one of the most productive oil and gas areas in the country, geologists have explained that the way the oil was recovered from shale rock is considered unconventional compared to other 
oil found in the ground because it requires advanced drilling such as hydraulic fracturing. Walter Guidro's program coordinator for the USGS Energy Resources Program said in a statement, the fact that this is the largest assessment of continuous oil we have ever done just goes to show that even in areas that have produced billions of barrels of oil, there is still the potential to find billions more. Changes in technology and industry practices can have significant effects on what resources are technically recoverable. And that's why we continue to perform resource assessments throughout the United States and the world. Since there are multiple shales that interlock in the area, it's expected that future drilling could yield more deposits throughout the region. Reporting in New York, Trinity Chavez, RT.